the, you can't name ten Grammys that made more than two hundred bags <laughs> in the last year, like within the last, especially with this whole uh, pandemic and stuff. Well, because of the movement, you they suffocating like, they, they, the movement. Not, yeah, yeah, but but that's what I'm saying. But if they didn't, yeah, then they would it would be broader and there would be because there's, there's enough money for everyone, isn't it? Killer Killer podcast. Killer Killer official dot com. THTC, the UK's leading ethical streetwear label. Organically grown and ethically built garments from hemp, organic cotton and other sustainable materials. 2019 is their 20th anniversary year. Join me with THTC as a Killer Keller podcast sponsor celebrating music, social activism, hemp and street culture. THTC, eco-fashion redefined since 1999. Killer Keller. And we need to talk about world music and street culture. Killer Keller podcast. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, it's the Killer Keller podcast reporting to you live and direct. Central London or Central as you should be any closer than you're in in the right areas. All right? Big shout out to Graffiti Kings inside the place. Um, and everybody else is coming on board late or early. Share, share, share and like and be a part of the whole culture, all right? Street culture and more. That's how we do it over here. We don't, we don't mince our words. I'm your host, Killer Keller, and inside for today's show on a, on a, on a lovely sunny day. Come on, come on. <laughs> it's come the on. man. <laughs> well, a grunge man at the moment, if I'm honest with you, in terms of versatility. The man yeah. like Millie Major and so, how are we? Yeah, my guy, you know. <laughs> Easy, man. Don't right, time. <laughs> trust me, trust me, trust me, trust me, trust me, trust me. How's it been? You know, yeah, man, it's been good, man. It's been good, man. It's yeah. cool, man. Just been busy, man. Like, yeah. You know. Get me. Yeah, 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 I do, I do. Good dom. It's a it's a funny time to be busy because mm. uh, you just find yourself doing things you wouldn't normally do under mm. the circumstances, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely, man. Like usually, like when I'm when I drop a project, like I never drop nothing on this girl, but usually when I do a project, I'm more like coming out doing interviews like this. But this is like probably like my second or third interview I've done like live. Usually, it's just been like on the phone mm. because of all this stuff that's been going on. So it's just been a bit different, like, stuff like that. No shows as well. Yeah, yeah. So, that's the other yeah. thing as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I think that's the thing that cripples people the most in in the music game is like, hold on, man, how are we, what are we, help? <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah, now yeah. Now what do we do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's yeah. actually quite a. Uh, it, it, it it makes for new creative ideas, doesn't it? A different way of thinking. Yeah, like definitely, man. Like, fortunately for me, before all this stuff, anyway, like I was kind of thinking outside the box, anyway. So, mm. like, and I executed stuff before this whole. Lockdown and pandemic stuff, so mm-hmm. and fortunately, the idea that I had to execute in place wasn't like, um, didn't rely on stuff that got shut down mm. or that was affected by the corona and mm. by the pandemic. So, yeah, man, it's good, man. How does it feel yeah. to have been <laughs> ahead of the curve? <laughs> you know, what I mean, like, can't, like, yeah. all right. You weren't relying on that in the first. You weren't relying on the yeah. gigs or anything in the first yeah. place. You had yeah. a f- you had an, a vision of doing something yeah. that actually was well within the means, even within the limitations of what we got going on in the world now. Yeah, crazy man. I, do you know? What? I thought about it before, but that's the first time it's been said and articulated like that. So mm. I don't know. Um, don't know, man. I feel I feel grateful. Is the word, isn't it? Because mm. there's a lot of people just going mm. through it right now, isn't it? So, mm-hmm. yeah, well, for those of you who don't know. Apart from the, the legacy of, of the MC versatilities, which I did say at the start, I was like, yeah. you know, yeah, you're one of the names that I I recognise through getting an, having an appreciation in the genre. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. But you know, this 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 small movie that you created, yeah, the major paper, it's, it's yeah. actually, yeah. Dude, yeah. I, I was, if you haven't checked it, go watch it. It's, it's some serious bit of kit. And oh. uh, actually, you know what I mean? It kind of gives Top Boy a run for its money for sure. Like, it just feels a little bit more yeah. personable. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I've been like, Credit Worst Street, obviously, that Top Boy is like a mad thing, isn't it? So, yeah, yeah. So to even compare it to that, like, I feel like grateful, isn't it? Because it's my first, my first film. Like, I never. Like I always say to people, I never spoke about doing no film or mm. nothing like that before. So I got an idea, mm. I ran with it. And yeah, man, it's like, yeah, man, I was just fortunate enough that people were taken to it and mm. I put it out in the right way. I put enough heart and soul into it. And mm. yeah, man, like, you get me? Like, it's like, it's, it's, if it's even have it compared to Top Bear, like, yeah, man, it's just a good feeling still. There's, you know what, it's, it's the deconstruction of everyday life that's really mm. put into, uh, mm. into a, 
into a story that's quite compelling, mm. even for the, and I say quite because mm. it almost like stops and you're like, mm. shit, what happens next? I want to do the next bit, you know what I mean? Like, it, are you doing it in part? Is this, is this an ongoing thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It it's has gonna, to be, um, yeah? The thing about it is, yeah, it's going um, to be an ongoing thing, but it's going to develop and deck. Yeah, man. I'm not going to see it. Ah, yeah. he's, <laughs> gonna see it. Yeah. he's leaving you in suspense. Yeah, yeah I'm not going to see it too much, but yeah, so you don't. But this comes with a whole heap of baggage, man. Like you've got, well, first of all, you've got a crazy team that's involved. You've got the mm. whole, you've got the whole um, setup of a campaign. Yeah. You've got the soundtrack, yeah. Madness, with TP, TP, Tion Wayne. DP, DP. DP, Tion Wayne, Tion Wayne and, uh, and Big Nasty. Nasty. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which in itself is like, yeah, this, that in itself has a credential of an yeah. other song in itself yeah. without the yeah. movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's dope, the, dope, dope, man. Yeah. Dope, man. Dope, man. Dope, man. Just like, like I said, man, just grateful, man. Like, everyone that you said on there, they're all, my, all my brothers on there. So, mm. yeah, man, that in the house thing still. Mm. Yeah, in the house, yeah. yeah. You get me? With, with, with a team like that, and I can only speak for experience, it takes. It takes a lot of managing, mm. and it takes a lot of tenacity. It takes mm. it makes you want you want people to be on side and be as energised as you. Sometimes, you yeah. know, and it, it goes without saying. Sometimes you've got to kind of re-energise people and say, "Come yeah. on, you know what we're yeah, doing." Yeah, yeah, of course. Of but you you have got like some young guns behind the scenes doing yeah. this thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. They yeah. must they must they must have inspired you. Yeah, 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 definitely, man, definitely, man, definitely, man, definitely, man, definitely, man. And that's one thing I always say to people: it's like age don't mean nothing, man. I learn. Learn, I've learned more of man that's like two years below me, three years below me than I do of people that are like three years, four years above me. Like they're probably learning of me. I'm younger than them. So I never I always take that into account as well. Mm. There's been a lot of people older than me that have had to learn from me. So when I'm talking to people, I don't age ain't nothing. Especially mm. when you get to like a certain age. Like that age gap ain't mm. nothing. Like yeah. you know what I'm saying. So yeah, man, just fortunate enough to have brothers around me that are just genuine. Mm. You know what I mean? Want me to win and like all have that same mindset because that's what's important that like, mm. you could have a hundred people in your phone but none of them might have the same mindset or you might only have five of them mm. not to say you don't love the other 95 like could all be family members the other 95 but they might just be on different things like they might be a doctor a lawyer like you can't phone them and say oh yo um do you know any directors or who's got the best camera or mm. Red tape, what locations or oh yeah this happened oh what do you think how much for streams and red tape, tape uh, my publishing and mm. you, you might only have two men in your so so long as people have got the same mindset you, as you, as you like will bring you together and and you'll connect that like, so long as you've got the same mindset you're genuine and, and that, that's what this is about man just like pushing the elite like I wanted to create something that's not just about myself mm. it's bigger than bigger than myself something for the culture and it feels like I've achieved that like even in terms of like the storyline it mm. don't just revolve around me it's mm. not I'm not in the camera all the time like, I wanted to make sure of that like I think there's it. there's something to be said about the culture of it mm. um I would argue th this it would be the case with the podcast when it's something yeah. that's bigger than you yeah then people that are involved people that are a mm. part of it they mm. actually they embody it more as personable as well mm. do you know what I mean so it, mm. you're right it doesn't it isn't about you yeah but yeah. it's about but you're the conduit that allows it yeah to, yeah basically yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah like you know what I'm saying so like what what I tried to do like because I, I didn't I haven't gone to college I said to you I didn't mm. do you know writing course I haven't studied film or nothing like that so when I'm writing a script I'm just writing a script based on like my guys that I know like I know my cousins like this like mm. I've no, my cousin is like we had some funny moments, had some sad moments. So I know like how he is like he's like he's true like. So I know what to like Lippy. Like I'm not like mm, you know mm, what I'm mm. saying. So yeah, it's, it started from Lippy and Pablo, innit? it? My cousin Lippy, and um, my cousin Pablo and my and Bridget Lippy, innit? it? Mm. Like started from them two. Still like I, I got that idea, and then I thought, oh cool. First two characters I thought were them two there. I'm saying, and I just ran with it still. Yeah. That's cold. So yeah. they, you already had them kind of earmarked as like... Yeah, no, no, no. no. Do, you know, do, you know, do, you know, do you not have to big them up? Do you not have to big them up, bro, yeah? Mm. Because I had the idea, bearing in mind, I've never, ever, ever spoken to like any of them about this, yeah? I just had the idea. Yeah? Exclusive, like, exclusive. So, so, when I've, so when I've come to them, I'm saying, yeah, bro, I want to do a film, you know? Mm. Both of them straight away, like, were just like, yeah, like, loved them so much for that because like, mm. obviously... Like they didn't know what the end product was gonna be. So only when the when they come into when they come to film on the day, they're like, raw, 
bro's done the mad thing. Like, <laughs> they can see the film crew, they can see the big screens I've got in the hood. The lights, the Joe shit. They can see, like, I got roles locked off, like, you know what I'm saying, in the States and shit. Like, there was like, okay, cool. Like, bro's really gone and done the mad thing. Like, all by myself, like, just the idea I had that just done it by myself. No one didn't help me, like, come to get, like, Everything was done by myself mm. and apart from my friends, like me, myself and my friends. Like one thing I'll say, this could not have happened, like this project here, it's, it can't happen without the support of my Maybe friends and my family. Yeah, so exactly. yeah, so like I was just grateful for that. But like independently, yes, myself and it, like I funded it, like I wrote it, co-directed it, co-produced it, my music on there, like flipping. Tell yeah, you, man, like, that ain't no saying. half stepping, that is a lot. Yeah, so look, but but, yeah. but, but, but the, um, there's only one person from the UK that's done that before. And um, it's my bro, um, Nino, Nines, yeah? Mm. Like, flipping. Mm. So, like, I said to him, like, because he didn't even know that I'd done it, like, I shot the film. One day we were just talking, he's like, oh, yeah, what are you on, man? He's like, oh, yeah, no, I got into my film. He's like, what? Oh, you mean, like a snake, like? Oh, and yeah. I'm like, what? what you told me you do that film? You know those so ones. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, so I'm like, yeah, but, yeah, but so I showed it to him now. Mm. I'm flipping. Yeah, he's like, yeah, it's dope and that. You know what I'm saying to him, but when I showed it to what him, what did he say when he saw it? Was was he was he gobsmacked? Was yeah, he like, yeah, because he didn't know. He's like, he's just like, yeah, man, my nigga, man, like that's so yeah. sick. So for him, so when, even when I spoke to him, like I was like, I, I, like I see me, I wear my heart on my sleeve, innit? Yeah. So I'm not gonna, I'm not the type of person to like not give someone their roses while they can't still smell them, innit? Oh, for so real. From the jump, I let him know, like, bro, you're the blueprint from this mm. thing, like, you get me? Mm. I see your thing, like, and like it's something that like, it's giving man the blueprint to. Okay, cool. It's a new way for people to digest music and then, yeah, like, get me. Man just tried to do that, get me. Mm. His thing is his thing. I can never copy his thing, you get yeah. me? And I haven't tried to do that, mm -hmm. you get me? But he's just giving man the blueprint of, okay, yeah. I don't know, it's weird, like, you get me? Because he's a very inspirational brother, you get me, Nina? How long you known him? I've known Nina, like, fucking, like, about, like, strongly for about... A year or two, yeah. like we've, been, we've been talking like we've known, we've known, we've known each other for like for years, like not, yeah. but not like been like how it is in the last yeah, yeah, year yeah. or two. You know what I'm saying, but yeah, man, like it's a proper, proper, proper in, inspirational brother store. You get me? That's in, so sick. Not ins inspirational, influential store. Mm. You get me? Yeah, yeah man. He's on the up. Him. He's just, I mean, all you guys. I mean, we will go Come back. On, man. And Nina for number one, man. Yeah, yeah man. <laughs> for real, my Brody, you know. But I'm telling you guys, you've been doing your grind for a while, and that's mm. the thing. Mm. Like these, these are, these are. These are mini celebrations in the grand, the legacy. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Like yeah, we yeah. are going to get into your, your the, the the depths of your career up till now as well. Because yeah. do you know what I mean? From collaborations with so many different people and like what twenty? Yeah. I mean, I first saw you what five, six, seven years ago on Westwood. Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I mentioned it, you know. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, all of a sudden it just kind of dawned on me. I was like, dude, like it's almost like you was like the next gen. Yeah. You were yeah. the next gen to come through. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but the thing about it is though, like, see, like with. Unfortunately, I come up in that, or fortunately and unfortunately, I come up in the grime area and like a lot of the older grime guys are like salty guys. So see like, this is why I appreciate people like Nines. Mm. Like I said to you, like he embraced what I was doing, said boom, 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 boom. Mm. He's helping me promote it, helping me push it. Like, that's mad love, mm. mad appreciation. The man that I've grown up with, Man, even family members, mm. older family members that would look at me very, very salty. Mm. Salty, yeah, and it's not good. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So when you meet genuine people that want to help and build something, not just give you something on a plate, want to help and build, I appreciate that. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Older, like, the older gram MCs, they're very salty. They weren't nothing ever like that, mm. where they're embracing, trying to do it. I've had to fight for every single little thing with people trying to... There was certain all the grams he's telling certain DJs on one extra not to play my tunes, like uh? that. It's my, that's 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 the era that I come up in. Yeah, do you get what I'm saying? Like I'm not saying the DJs were doing it, but <laughs> that's, that's what, what they was doing. Do you know what I'm saying? It comes like, with like, it but, comes... but, 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 but to be fair with you though, yeah. Them times I was very ignorant though as well. I said a lot of things that I shouldn't have said about people and all of this stuff and all that stuff. But like you know, it's like mm. like I said, like it's just I weren't getting embraced. There was a lot of, I felt like a, a lot of salty, like weird energy. Can't even say salty because how can someone be salty and they've got more than you? Yeah. Like, but I don't know, it's just something. Fear. Yeah, kind of. And not just for me, for like the people that's around me as well. Like even down to like my cousin Big H. Like, you get me? Like he was one of the greatest MCs mm -hmm. like, from the grime thing. Mm -hmm. And you know what I'm saying? But yeah, that's a, that's a different story for a different day though, anyway. Yeah, yeah, for real. You know um, I, I feel like that way with a lot of um, genres, with... 
there's a there's a there's a kings around the table, mm. Mm. and food is theirs, mm. and that often makes it really hard for you to infiltrate or get get too deep because you know you have your heroes, you have your celebrities. Do, 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 do you know, know. I, I used to think, yeah. It's all in my head, yeah, until I see one of the people I was talking about, yeah. I see him say something like, oh, yeah, he's, uh, we're the gatekeepers of Red. That's the, yeah. And then I was like, okay, cool, so you do. So how can... See, my whole thing, yeah, bro, I come from the dirt, bruv. The <laughs> dirt. Like, I mean the dirt, bruv, yeah. Bruv, how could you not want to see yes. other young Succeed. brothers mm-hmm. winning, building something? Like, I've got a mum just like how you've got a mum. Mm-hmm. I've got a nan. I've got a family. I've got like brothers, sisters, cousins, friends that want to see me do well. I want to do. I want to do well myself. I want to help them. I want to yeah. do stuff myself. So, why would you then think it's funny to be a gatekeeper if you are quote a gatekeeper? Why would you think it's funny to not embrace that the younger and yeah. that's why the gram thing is kind of slowed down now yeah. because they've siphoned it off to a point where it's only like ten MCs or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Out of the 20 MCs, um, 20 Gram MCs, yeah, 20 top of Gram MCs, yeah, mm. guarantee, yeah, not even, I would say, not even 10 of them made mm. 200 bags mm. like, in the last year. Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah, I'll say, I'll say it to you. I'll yeah. say it to you. I'll say it to you, not 10 of them. Like, the, you can't name 10 Gram MCs that made more than 200 bags like, <laughs> in the last year. Like, Within the last, especially with this whole uh, pandemic and stuff. Well, because of the movement, you they suffocating like, the, the, the movement. Not, yeah, yeah, but but that's what I'm saying. But if they didn't, yeah, then they would it would be broader and there would be because there's, there's enough money for everyone, isn't it? Yeah. So say like I could say like I couldn't say that because of what they done and they helped b- build the movement so much. Mm. And I, I was like, oh yeah, there's like 50. M- then cool, mm. it's bigger, isn't it? I'm saying, but now they've locked it off so much to the point where the generation below them which is like my generation, mm. we didn't get the shine we deserved because of how, like we just got a backlash of their yeah. total. But so then they might, but then they might have clocked and then sort of gone to like the younger generation, like the AJ Tracy's and like yeah. picked out certain ones from them. But even that, yeah, 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 still yeah. Still didn't show on, uh, shed enough light on uh, like the rest of the scene. And yeah. like, like you know what I'm saying, but obviously I'm not taking it on away from AJ because AJ, he's worked hard. Like we've been in studios, uh, radio stations, and passed each other microphones. Like he's grinded, bro. Yeah, 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 for sure. Like, him. But I'm just saying that like, on their part, AJ even knows. Like even if he even hears this, he would know that like, what I'm saying is true. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Get me? That's why certain times when people get to a certain place, they're like, nah, bro. Like I'm cool. Like whoever show man love, cool man show. But and you know, before I never used to understand it, but. The more older I got, the more the more and more experience I got in the game, like I know it's okay, cool. That's why I'm not saying I would mm. move like that or I do, but I kind of understand. Before I didn't get it at all, mm. but now I kind of understand, understand. But still, one thing someone always said to me, mm. like no matter what someone does to you or how someone behaves to you, don't let that change you as a mm. person, as a man, because that's when you change, isn't it? In yeah. one, don't let that. So if someone's, for, for example, someone's pissed you off, the next person's pissed you off. The next person's pissed you off all for the same reason because mm. you think they're being selfish or tight. Mm. Don't then wake up the next morning and say, oh, for the rest of my life, I'm going to be selfish. And No, nah, you don't do that. Just, if you get me, just let them go on with their just, yeah, yeah. okay, address it like how it needs to be addressed yeah, yeah. and keep it moving, bro. But don't let it Because you're right, it rise above it. it. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Definitely, man. Don't, don't, ever, don't ever let it change, yeah. my guy. You get me? Um, in the beatbox world, there is a very similar t- st- stance. I, I, th- I think you... If you're if you're like a gatekeeper, yeah. Also, here's the other thing as well. I do find the people that are the gatekeepers they talk a good game. They do talk like as if like they want to spread the wealth, but they ultimately un- only under their say so. <laughs> like only on their watch do they do that. Well, and you know what I mean? Like, but beatboxing has you, you, know, you know you know it's that yeah. So they say that and then they say stuff like oh, it's the same way like our oh, people that say oh, um yeah man positive vibes. Always the people saying positive vibes are the most negative people. Because <laughs> they're just affirming themselves, right? <laughs> I don't know if they're affirming themselves, if they're trying to just, like, mm. if they're trying to just mm. be general, everyone, mm. whatever. Like, but yeah, that's what, that, that's that's what I've noticed anyway in life, anyway. Mm. Like, you get me? Like, you don't need to say positive vibes all the time, bro. Like, positive, you know the other one as well? Like, sure. we're on a vibe. We're on, you know, we are positive people, we did, mm. you know, without just sounding in any way contradiction. But it's, it's, the, the, it's the overly spiritual awakened. Mm. It's the overly 100s. It's mm-hmm. the ones, it's the, I know exactly the kind of 
characters you mean, and a lot of it is just them reaffirming to themselves, yeah, 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 which is fine. Mm -hmm. But 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 if as long as it sinks into their psyche mm -hmm. rather than uh, it's just you know a layer. Yeah, 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 definitely, man, definitely, man, definitely, man, definitely, man. Definitely, man. Definitely, it's something man. quite hard definitely, to find. Man. Out. Definitely, there's truth to that. Definitely. Mm -hmm. man. When did you start? How, how old was it when you were just when you were like, oh, I'm going to pick up the mic and do it? When I was in school, yeah, uh, flipping, um, like my cousin started DJing, looked up to my cousin mm -hmm. Ashley, looked up to him so much. Oh, anything, Ashley. He to do, anything he wanted to do, I wanted to do, started mm. DJing. Mm. I started DJing, but then I realized I want to be on the mic, and then haven't looked back since then, really. Yeah. DJ, still, you could, nah, you, could nah, you do nah, it I now? Can't mix for <laughs> Jack Diddley, I was even making beats. <laughs> One of my bro, one of my bros playing one of my beats that I made all them years ago to me. I said, "Bro, just dash that CD away, bro." <laughs> awful, bro. <laughs> awful, bro. Not even for prosperity, you didn't want to keep it. Just to... nah, I don't need, ever need to. Listen How far to you've come? <laughs> no, 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 no. How old were you? How old were you at that age? Uh, I was like fourteen. 15. That's mad. It's a fourteen, jeez. Mm. So you were already making beats and you were starting to spit bars. Mm. Who was your influences? Who? I mean, mm. we're talking about gatekeepers now. Who are the who are the influences that influenced you? Um, my cousin Big H, and uh, my two cousins uh, Big H and Bossman Birdie. They influenced me. Who you been with, Bossman Birdie? Long yeah. time. Yeah. yeah. And um, and also D W. Mm. And Storming, rest in peace. Oh, rest in peace. Yeah. Um, oh. And yeah, like flipping because yeah, the Meridian and Nasty Crew and yeah, Dizzy as well. Mm. Like, mm. They was very influential to. Get me mm. wanting to continue, mm. and then also my my um environment was very influential to me as well. Like flipping me and my friends, like growing up in quite quite a rough area. Mm. Like you know what I'm saying, just mm. like, your usual your usual um you know you're just your usual hood problems, man. Like that, but that's been all them problems, all the good days, the bad days. That's all been influential mm. to what I do mm. though. Still, yeah. You know what I'm it becomes a, 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 adaptable to yeah, subjects. Yeah, 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 definitely, 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 definitely. How much, definitely. How much of that, because, you know, when I'm, I'm from, like, a small countryside area in Sussex, mm. just outside Crawley, right, and my urgency of getting out, which has been way different to yours, mm. but my urgency was, like, I cannot stay mm. in this pl I need to find my way out, or mm. else I'm just going to be, like, stuck in some pub somewhere mm. for the rest of my life. Do you mm. know what I mean? Mm, 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 mm. Um, that urgency... Mm. Uh, like you say, you never went to college, I never mm. went to college. Mm. But somehow, this music thing, mm. it grabs you, mm. and it just feels like you, A, you can contribute, and B, you can get the fuck out of a thing real quick mm. if you just focus on that one thing solid. How, how how much did that play on your mind, being where you're from and like what you wanted to achieve? Um, it played, played, played a massive part, man. Played yeah. a massive part, like, um, like always being the underdog, like um, having people talk behind your back. Yeah. Um, all, all, all the fucking beatings, the stabbings, the shootings, mm. like it's just the fucking everything, the drugs, the flipping, everything's just like giving me tough skin. How much of that? Uh, when you say tough skin, how much, how much, how, how much numbness plays into that? Okay, I've seen this. This has happened so much. After a while. You you just get used to the anxiety. You get used to the the pan the walking down the street on your own. You get how how at what point do you say to yourself, "Oh fuck it"? Do you know what I mean like it's, it's just the way it is? And not I don't know what point you say that, but for me, for me, alright, cool. I tell you, for me, the, I don't know what point anyone would say, it, but for me, when I first realized that was when uh, I like I said to myself, "Cool, but, like I want to start um, taking this more serious." Mm got into the industry more and I noticed that um, the same characters I was meeting in my past life when I was like on doing whatever, mm. like I was meeting them in the industry, they were just wearing suits and ties now. Mm. Like, so I was like, rah. Oh. Like, That's mad. The thick skin, it's good. The job. It's a good job I got thick skin because a lot of this stuff would have been, it would have been, been killing me softly. But you know, like, like I said, because I do have thick skin. Mm. Yeah, man. Like I've seen it all before, innit? So it's just not really surprising to me when I see yeah. a person behaving the way they do or whatnot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It kind of, you already know, it's better the devil you know, I suppose, in the many respects, at least yeah, you know yeah, where and, you and stand. Yeah, and people just remind me of certain characters. Like I'll see someone, I'll meet them, 
talking to them and certain things that someone might do. Not everyone, but certain mm. things someone might do might remind me of someone. Like, and then if they do too much stuff that reminds me of someone, like, especially if it's not someone who's had good intentions or like, but there's a couple of people like that. So if I come like, okay, I'm cool, I, you, you act like them. Mm. So I don't want to be involved there. That's, that's especially, mad. Especially if it's business as well. Yeah. Yeah, like, especially if it's business, like I'm saying, so, yeah. You learn a lot of stuff, don't you? Like that, like you say, um, the character traits of somebody. Yeah, man. Yeah, you, I know exactly where you're yeah. coming from when mm. you say that. Mm. It's almost like, oh, it's almost like a preset in your head. It's like, oh yeah, I remember this kind of character, and this is the way they play. This yeah, one. man. Like for example, like if I walk into a room, mm. like oh yeah, man, it's my good friend, man. As soon as quite my they're talking about their good friend, they just introduce you. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Get me. Mm. Oh, they come, they come back in. Oh, yeah, what's going on, man? Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. We'll back out of the room. They're like, okay, cool. I know what you're like. You know what I mean? Let me just. You know what I mean? mm. Does that does, does, does that create an air of of, uh, of cynicism? Do you think like? Have it, not that your senses serve you wrong, but mm. like, do you walk in with a level of cynicism to things? Never, or? man. Never. No. I didn't get because you know. And on on our first meeting now, it's like it's that's, that's why. Yeah, you know I mean, it's a pleasure. That's, right? that's why it's important for me to say, cool. Come in to the room. Yeah, like, yeah, my good friend, my best friend. They walk out the room, mm. start talking bad about them. Cool. Mm. Come back into the room. Yeah. Hello, where Ted Ted smiley face, and then come back up. Start talking bad about them again. Mm. Is the key word, yeah. Mm. You give people a chance. Yeah. When you see, so okay, cool. That's what you like. Mm. We weren't just a. Uh, Get me like, oh, he's gone out, oh, oh man, oh, it's, yeah, man, oh. Oh, I see what oh, you're oh, saying. Um, red, John messes up, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Up, it's, uh, oh, he's always messing things oh, up, yeah. man. It's not one of them ones, mm. it's not like, that's when you're going in there with that mm. thought not giving people a chance, but. I get you. Give people a chance, though, man. You get me? And then mm. when you see a pattern in behaviour, mm. you know what I'm saying? If yeah, someone's yeah, not my friend and this business, then I have to, you just have to be vigilant. And yeah, for get sure. Me. Like, I might be talking a lot in this interview, but usually I'm. Very, I listen more than I talk. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's good. That's because the Killer Keller podcast only brings out the best in people. Jeez. Like, oh. My God. <laughs> Come on. So, look, man, I mean, you know, we're talking about a legacy here. Like, we're talking about a legacy. You, I mean, like I said, Westwood was probably my first intro to you. Mm. Um, and you, you've kind of orbited around so many different people. I mean, you know, Big mm. Nasty being on, mm. on a track. I mean, mm. these are the, this is the paddock that you would like mm. have evolved your style and stuff mm. on. Like, what, in terms of like pirate radio and yeah. like from that moment when you were, you know, grabbing mics and, you know, how did you get from, you know, naught to however fast over a period of time? And, you know, for a lot of people out there, it's like, how do you climb up a ladder like that? How do you get to the place with, you know, pirate radio, shows, collaborations? Do you know what I mean? Like, was it an easy journey? Like, how, how was nah, the process? No, not at all, man. Just believing in yourself, man. Like, um, it's the only thing that's kept me going. It's only like when I um start started doing well, I noticed that like people were telling me, oh yeah, this guy used to say this and this guy used to say that, and that guy used to say this and this brother used to say that. I'm like, right, you're telling me that now. Hmm. I'm not showing me that before. People were probably laughing at me at certain points in my life, like, because I was trying to dedicate my time to music so much and mm. weren't earning that much money. So, like, yeah, man, like, I was trying to actually make a living of it and make things work. Mm. So I know some people are probably like, oh, like, oh, he's not looking flat no more and ready to, to, like, all of that. So, like, you have to be ready to... Take, sacrifice. Yeah, take them sacrifices there, man. Like, not all the time. To some people, it comes different, isn't it? But for me, like, it was and still is like an uphill battle that I'm mm. still fighting today. Oh. So yeah, yeah you man, mean both, brother? Just, yeah, <laughs> man. That's why I'm just grateful for the small mercies and the small mm. blessings that the Lord provides, man. Because you know what I'm saying. Mm. Like, there's times when I've put in a lot of work and I haven't seen no rewards whatsoever. You get mm. me? So the time that I'm putting in a lot of work, the mm. most work that I put in, just grateful to be able to see some kind of. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Some some fruits of my labour from it. It's a bit mad, isn't it? With uh, with the work. Mm. Um, because a lot of it is goes online, and a lot of it is you know being remarkable. You know, having yeah. having something that makes people want to remark about it. Yeah. And uh, if that remark means you've got to go, you know, as as far as a fucking cat meme, 
Do you know what I mean? Mm, mm, or, mm. you know, sometimes you can put like so much energy into one thing mm. and then all of a sudden mm. you don't gross the same kind of attention that you think it would. But yeah. then you'll do something really simple that you'd think you'd do in like half a day and then all of a sudden that just shoots it because it's clear. Yeah, definitely, man, because like uh, even I remember um, I'd done some... Um, see, just when this lockdown thing was just about to pop off. Yeah. I walked into the shop here and I saw some guy was selling some hand sanitizer for £10. Hmm. You know what I mean? And I in, I've recorded it, yeah? Like, get me, I'm saying, bruv, how are you selling this for £10 or whatever? Right, 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 right. Hmm. But I got like flipping 10 million views, bro. Like, for real? Yeah, what? or something. Mad, like, I'm saying, like, flipping, it's gone viral, like, yeah. like, raw, like, one's talking about hand sanitizer. It's mad, yeah. but then, like, I'm saying, yo, man. Yo, biggest project I've ever done in my life. Right, 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 yeah, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, all this, all that. I'm just getting, like, a couple thousand retweets. Like, no, no, no. no I appreciate all the... But yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's just so... But when I'm doing that, though, it's like, all 10,000 retweets, 60,000, 100,000 retweets. Yeah. And all this. It's a mad thing, bro. So, yeah, you can't really uh -huh. see it. It's just whatever the people want. Yeah, you know, and you can't want. do another one or it's your ambulance chase and the last thing you do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're not, not going to win. Yeah, it's crazy, yeah. bro. It's crazy. It's crazy. So, mm. yeah, man. Like, I mean, it's just... It's, have to learn to take the um, the swings and the punches, isn't it? I've never understood it personally, but <laughs> yeah, then no, but at the same time though, um, and this is this is something that plays on my mind as as the artist in me, like mm. to do music and stuff, because mm. we're we're doing these things like I knock them out in a minute, mm, mm, mm. you know, and that's kind mm. of like the, the 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 that's the order of the day with social yeah. media. Yeah. But how do you do that as an art? How do you do that as a musician? I mean, with with rappers, grime, drill, hip hop. You know, whoever, it's a, you can turn it around in a freestyle, you can turn it around in a, in a sci fi session, mm, mm. you know, and that you, can t you can cookie cut that to a degree, but when you want to put something like sincere and some, like what you've done with, you know, with your latest project, yeah. with Madness, and how, you know, how would you do that re repeated at such a consistency? Oh, like, oh, because basically, preparation, that is key because, mm. so, you're gonna see anyway. You're gonna see stuff. You're gonna see. So you got yeah, like it's stockpiled. You got pieces. Yeah, stuff it's like... gonna it's gonna be that. I didn't. I didn't anticipate the response that I was gonna receive when I mm. done it. Like I hoped it was gonna be, but I didn't anticipate. It was sick, man. Mm. So next time I'm just making sure it's not. It's mad. Gonna be like you know what I'm saying like, things. Everything's gonna, it's gonna be long, like longer stuff mm. like that. Like, it's definitely gonna be longer. I see that's the comment that people have been saying. They want it to be longer and stuff. So. I think less is more, though, no? I mean, you know. Yeah, yeah, no, but... Um, I quite like that it was short, but it's like... Yeah, but I'm going to have it slightly longer, though, still. Not not too much longer, but it's going to be slightly longer, though, still. How yeah. far down the road have you got this mapped out? Is it like three or four episodes deep or something? You got that? You're going to wait and see. Oh, no, you're much. killing it's gonna, it's gonna, You're going to see, man. Kidding. You're going to see. But yes, like, we ain't going to stop, man. We ain't mm. going to stop, man. We're going to get me. How did you connect with uh, Big Nasty? How did how did this all come about for the for the soundtrack? Oh, Big Nasty been my bro for years. For real? Yeah, for years. If you go on my Facebook, you'll see pictures from 10 years ago. 10 years ago. Yeah, there's sets of us on radio from like 10 years ago and stuff as well. Mad. My, my friend for like outside music, like we don't, for how well we know each other, people don't even know because we don't even do music like that together. But he's been, he's my bro that like, comes, like, I was at his house the other day. Oh, so you buck like, like, yeah, man, he's my, boys he's my, he's my friend, man, he's my brother, man. That's so you know. sick. I was in Tenerife with him the other day as well. Like, I, went, I went out there just because he opened up a shop out there. No way. Yeah, I went out there. Just what shop are you having out there? What's he, what's he opening? Um, a coffee shop. Really? Yeah, with the plug. So, with me. No BDO, BDO, BDO the plug, make sure. If you go to Tenerife, that mean you like your reefer. Yeah. That's the, you're, hit, you're hitting them up. Tenerife you know crew, Tenerife crew. My guy, you know. <laughs> nice, you know. Inspirational brother as well, man. You've been in the studio last night, hence, you, hence you're a little bit more tired than normal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, bro, everything's just. Woke up today and it's just mad. <laughs> yeah, phone calls, I'm just like, blood. Like, I'm not even one of them guys that's like, usually I'm the first one up, but. Yesterday was just, yeah, man. Got in from studio late, and then I had bare stuff I had to do when I got mm. home from. It's just mad, bro. Mm -hmm. like, so yeah, man. Had a bit of a late one still. Do you suffering for I'm you? Here though, <laughs> yeah, I know you're on me. I'm here. <laughs> That's right. You know what I mean. Yeah, guy, when people though. say, I, you know, I, I always, you, I always respect the level of commitment when people say, Come yeah, on. I'm coming to the crib. I'm like, you know what? I would happily, I, you know what I mean, I, I, I take the hit on time because to get yeah. over to somewhere in person nowadays, especially with Zoom and shit, yeah. like I always respect, I've got a little level of respect for yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, come on, my yeah. guy, come on, yeah. come on, come on. <laughs>
that where you do the, that where the studio is, right? Yeah, but can you cut that out? Just tell people. Don't yeah, know. I'll go. Yeah, 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 I got you. I got you. I got you. Yeah, yeah. So, so you record, you yeah, record, yeah, yeah. you record at yours, or you record at a studio studio. Yeah, no, I record at studio, 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 studio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. my guy, get me, get me. Obviously, secret location and that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Low key, low key, low, low key location. Kind of them bum, them bum boys trying to run up on me. <laughs> You uh, you work with Birdie. You've been working with him for a long time, right? Who, bossman Birdie. Yeah, that's my cousin. Yeah, long time. Yeah, yeah my cousin. So yeah, it's from when I was born. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah, really, yeah, like, yeah. My cousin. That yeah. So that's cold. That's crazy. Yeah. Keeping it well yeah. in the family. Yeah, yeah come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, Birdie's like one of my best MCs as well. So yeah, yeah. I mean, it's just to be able to grow up around him, have him like look up to my older cousin like that. It's, mm-hmm. It's another blessing as well that I really appreciate yeah. as well. You know yeah, 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 so, yeah, yeah. Yeah, super influential. Mm. Uh, who are you rating at the moment, MC Wise? Um, I don't care if I'm biased. Myself, mm. first and foremost, I'm <laughs> moving. I'm going on with things right now. So <laughs> yeah, I don't care what else is big man. Come on. But apart from myself, flipping Paper Pabs, Bossman Birdie, mm. flipping T on Wayne, <laughs> Nina with <laughs> the Nina. <laughs> Fipping, do you know what I'm saying? That, yeah, DP. <laughs> that, See all these people you need to check out, people. Yeah. Right, I've got some questions. These are Come done on. by the live streamers themselves, the people of my show, and uh, yeah, they Come have on, these on. questions and you need to answer yeah, them. Right? Come on, come on, come on. Like, it's this new part my of the God. podcast, all right? We didn't like my this. God, yeah. Right, since mid noughties how you think? How do you think you have changed as an artist? Uh, since the since the mid noise when you first started, you know when, you, when things first kicked off. Oh, uh, got much better, man. Just mm-hmm. developed my sound. I actually sound good now. Before I used to sound so shit. Even certain videos I got on YouTube, I just want to take them down, man. Really? So, yes. But yeah, that's the progression there, though. So I let people, I let, I let them keep them up. You know, what I like about your style actually, and uh, you know, correct me if I'm wrong. Mm. But you've got sometimes when I listen to you, you've got almost like a drill. Sl- it, it, it's hard to uh, it's hard to vocalize mm. the pattern of a drill MC. So mm. You just know when it's a drill MC, right? Mm. You have this knack where mm. you you flip. Mm. Sometimes you'll go bang, 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 drill mm. Mm. on it like a grime MC would. Mm. Then other times you really lay back. It's almost like you're just, like, like a drill MC, like you're kind of talking over it mm. with a little bit more tact. Mm, 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 Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, no, no. That's what, that's what, like from the day I've been spitting that, man, I've had like the a flow that's a bit more broken down because I used to rap with my cousins and they do the, they do the grime thing. So mm. because they do the grime thing, I'm more of on a thing where like, um, cool, we do the grime thing. But then I've got my other cousin Pabs and he does the rap thing. So we're kind of merging. So we used to spray on like down south beats. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah, yeah, so yeah. we used to spray on down south beats. Things are a bit more broken up. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, so that's the influence right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, you've been working with Boss My Birdie forever here. We've already talked about this. Yeah. Um, uh, what did he bring to the major paper turn track though? What did yeah. Boss My Birdie bring? Yeah. Boss My Birdie brought um, his energy. Yeah. And his self, man, my cousin, man, I love him to death, man. Yeah. He's just, he support everything, man. Just always yeah. on side. Yeah, man. <laughs> Fire. Birdie, 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 <laughs> man. You happy now, huh? <laughs> you know what I'm saying, baby? It's okay, man. You know what I'm saying? I love him to death, man. I love him to death, man. I love that guy to death, man. He doesn't, birdie, birdie. Can I say love. something? Can I say something? Well, I can't see birdie, yeah? Can I say birdie, yeah? He, he doesn't understand how much I love him, yeah? Because he's my older cousin. And he thinks, oh, my younger cousin, don't listen to me. But, well, yeah, you hear this. He doesn't know how much I do listen to him, bro. Pure yeah. love. Pure love for the birdie, man. Oh, hold tight, hold tight. The boss, man. I love no, no, that. No, no, not the birdie, the boss, man. The big boss, yeah, man. Come on, big cousin. That. Uh, you know what? I love it when shit like that happens. <laughs> it's on. like you probably haven't even said it to that, that on that deep before to him outside of him. I probably have, but... I haven't said it on camera. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I probably haven't said it to you, though. There you go, there you go. Like. International exclusive. Still coming through yeah, on the podcast. Yeah, like we definitely know how to communicate with each other. Still, as I promised, you know what? Sometimes you can do things without even saying anything and you know mm. that it's, it's, it's just some sort of intuition on a musical level. Yeah, I love man, that. Definitely, man. Definitely, man. Definitely, man. Um, all right, here's, here's a, this could be controversial. It could not be. Uh, mm. um, how do you think grime has changed over the years? How do I think grime has changed over the years? Yeah. Uh, I don't even care, bro. Yeah. I swear down. 
But so many people that don't like me in the gram thing, I don't even, mate. I don't even, yeah. I don't even care about that. I swear to God. I see I like just, you're got, more like, you, you're more advanced. I've got my friends, I've got my friends, yeah. My friends within the gram thing, mm. I know that anyone else, bro, I don't want to know, bro. I don't mm. care how it's changed. I don't care what they're doing. You know what I mean? Don't say hello to me. Mm. Don't spud me. Like, mm. you get me? This is going out to like fucking 70% of them, bro. Mm. Like, it's a nasty, nasty scene, bro. Mm. Like, like, get me? Just rubbed itself out and it's sad. Yeah. It's so sad. Like, but mm. I think um, it's that, like, but it, no, it definitely has evolved, though. It definitely has evolved, like, in terms of like the level of business. Um, yeah, man. Like, yeah, man. It's evolved, but then it's like, yeah. Yeah, but then it's been held back so much. It hasn't reached its full potential. Mm. And it's just sad for something that you once had so much love for and so much passion for. It's sad how things just turn out, man. Mm. It's a useful sport. Do you think? Is it? I mean, maybe no, not, not so much no now. More, no. More, more. Do you reckon there's some? Do you reckon there's some new younger guns coming through? You know. The... No, no. If I was going out now, I'd be doing drill, bro. I'd be doing drill. I'd be doing mm. drillings. All of that. But that's because yeah. they can't get into grime. They can't. There's no entry hole. I don't think they want to. No. I don't blame them. It's the beats. The production is childish. Really? Yeah, I can't listen to grime beats like that. A lot yeah. of them. Some of them I can. But do you feel like some? I, 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 I'm not even trying to rub it out like that. But yeah, man, it's just that. Like, oh man, it's just stupid, bro. Like, mm. it's, it's you know, what? it's it's the sound needs to evolve a bit more. Like the grown the grown men in it need to grow up. Like it's just perfect. But like, no one ain't got no beef with no one. There's not one grime MC that's. Flipping killed another gram MC. Mm. Like, do you know what I'm saying? That it's just, everyone's just got some proper bitchy behavior behind closed doors. Mm. And it's disgusting, bro. Mm. Like, you know what I mean? Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Right, next question. Um, see, what are your studio essentials? Flipping weed. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Um, Rizla, cigarette lighter, uh, a couple drinks. Mm. I'm not really a big alcohol Fan that, fan like that, but mm-hmm. maybe a bit of juice. Not too much though, because work time. Um, mm. uh, some munchies, the delivery app, just in case. <laughs> um, Standard. Uh, what else? Um, good vibes. Yeah, good vibes all day. Yeah, good vibes. All day. Um, which of your music videos are you most favorite? Excluding the main player. What's the? What's your? What's your favorite videos that you've done? My favorite video, yeah, music video you done. Um, oh, excluding the last one, yeah, I just done. Oh. yeah, you come at that. <laughs> oh, you um, know, no, with um, temper tea. Nice. All yeah, right. you know, no. All right then. So, um, what song of which isn't your? Oh, this is the last question, by the way, from the team. What song, which which isn't your own, do you wish you would have directed the video for? A song that ain't your own that you wished you had directed a video for. Um, song that isn't my own. Um, has it got and it's got a video for it already? Yeah, can or can't. Either way. All right. Um, any genre. I'm trying to think. Um, ah, oh, bro, that's a nutty question. Man. <laughs> yeah, I think. Do you know? Yeah, no, do you know? What, yeah, on Nine's new album, yeah, he's got. You got a tune on there, yeah? Mm. Called um called Flavours, yeah. Oh yeah. I think if I directed that, it'd be a mad thing. I mean, but Nina's a big director anyway, you don't need no one to do that. But yeah, if I directed it though, I'd do a mad thing. You could but, do like a collaborative thing though. That'd be sick. Maybe some maybe maybe somewhere down the line. Yeah, yeah. kinda of Kanye Pharrell kind of collab sort of thing where it's just like, <laughs> yeah. like Kanye Pharrell, yeah. Do you mean you know you know yeah. when you bring two worlds together? Yeah. Yeah. Right, Jay Z and Master P. There you go. Yeah, yeah. You know that. Come on. <laughs> My guy, <you> know. Come <laughs> on. But it's those levels that yeah. you're operating in. And I yeah. I feel you on the grunt grunt thing. I feel like uh it's bigger than that now. Mm. And you know, there's an argument that grime doesn't even sound the way grime should sound. It's kind of moved on. And, and I think that the attitudes have changed. You know, like, drill exists. Bro. You know what I mean? All the Afrobeat, all exists now. It's yeah, so, it's, so it's too late now. Like, I don't yeah. want to hear what a man's saying now because, mm. like, five years ago, ten years ago, he should have been doing this, bro. Mm. People have made creamed off their pee, whatever mm. they're doing. It's them, man. But how yeah. exciting is it now? Like, listen, you know, I'm older than you. I came up through a certain era, yeah. you know. I came through the battle era of like, yeah. you know, street culture shit. Yeah. And, uh, you know, the music 
industry was different, but, but grime, you know, f via, via Dizzy in the streets mm -hmm. and Lethal Bizzle, you mm -hmm. know, more fire. These, this was incubating and happening. But now I could never forecast the, the, the colourful fruit bowl of fucking genres that there are now. Sick, man. So sick, man. I just... It's crazy. Yeah, I love it, bro. I love it. I love it. Because I'm not... When you come into my car, if you're ever in my whip, I, I don't play just one thing of music, one genre mm. of music, innit? So, I mean, I appreciate all genres. So, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm all here for it, man. That shit's crazy. Yeah, man. Yeah, all, all of that. <laughs> my guy, ladies and gentlemen, you know, Millie Major inside the place. Come on, come on. Hey, I just want to apologise here yeah, for, I might seem a bit, don't know how I'm talking today, but yeah. <laughs> You did, Carly. Come on. Yeah, no apologies yeah. are needed, bro. Yeah, yeah, but... Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Listen, it's a fucking pleasure having you on board, having you inside the Jeez. inside the ride, all right? You know, the door's always open. Big on service. He's oh, in the pot, drinks in the fridge. Yeah, we do. On. I'd be offended if you didn't pass through and you was in the area. I'll tell you that much. Mm, come on, my <laughs> guy. Yeah. Come on, no, no, come on. Definitely, definitely. Thank you so much, Millie. You're a superstar. No, come on, man. Star. You're the big man, cuz, man. You're the superstar, man. Beatbox champion, man. Worldwide, man. I know about your thing, cuz. Old type, man. My old guy, type. No, but love here, bro. I swear on, to God. Come on, you know you look out for this new. He's on some new new right now. And if you don't know about that new new, you're in the wrong place. All right. You've heard it here first. Killer Killer podcast. We're doing it proper. Right out. Like, Jeez. In was out of fashion. Really made you a star. Thank you very much, my brother. Come on, gang, 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 gang. All day, all Serious. day. Don't forget subscribe. Do not sleep. I repeat. Do not sleep on this repeat. <laughs> Stay lucky, people. Peace. Come on. How was that? My guy. Yeah.